Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and welcome to another edition of Friday Quickie Techniques and Tips. This week we are going to cover two fabulous ways to tie the almighty, forever elusive bow. I love tying bows, but I have thought or I have come across over the years so many people who struggle with bow tying. If you are bow impaired, today's video is for you. So I've got some tips on how to tie great bows and make them look nice and have success. Now, first of all, having good ribbon really makes a difference. If you have um, cheap, crummy ribbon, uh, definitely some ribbons definitely tie better than others. That's one thing. I find really, really skinny ribbon is a little bit more difficult to work with. So I like working with ribbon that's at least a quarter of an inch for bow tying. You can definitely tie bows with smaller ribbon, but I just find it's a little easier to have thicker ribbon. Having said that though, super thick ribbon isn't easy to tie either. So I'm using this half inch ribbon, or actually three eighths inch ribbon. This is the mini chevron ribbon from Stampin' Up! And I'll, I'm gonna show you two ways to tie this bow. So the first way is I make a loop, just like normal, okay? Um, the longer your, ta your tail does not need to be very long, depending on how big your bow is. So if you want a really long, like this is a fairly long tail, um, definitely leave that tail, but you can make it shorter is what I'm trying to say. Okay, then I'm gonna take the the long end. And by the way, notice I'm tying it off the roll. Um, I like to tie it off the roll because then I waste less, ri less ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it around all the way around so you can see. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and then I'm going to fold another loop and push this root loop through. Okay, and what that does is it keeps my bow nice and flat. One of the issues with um, tying ribbon or tying bows is that the ribbon can make a big bulky knot in the center here. So you can see I'm just going back and forth, kind of altering the size of my bow loops. And there is my bow. Isn't that pretty? Now it's a little, I think it's nicer on this side because this ribbon going around it is, is nice and smooth. And then on the back side, you know, it's not as pretty. But that is my ribbon, okay? So let's do that once more. I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna go around the loop, keeping the ribbon flat. It's not crinkled or half half around. <laughs> not sure what the term for that is. Okay, I'm gonna take another, make another loop here, push this loop through where my thumb is, and then I just kind of go back and forth with the tails, pulling and creating my bow until I'm happy with the look of it. Okay, so that's one way to make a beautiful bow. All right, the next way is fairly similar. I'm gonna start with one loop and then I'm gonna make one more loop. Okay, there's, it's all flat. There's no twists or turns to the ribbon yet. Then I'm going to just wrap the loops around like you would to create a bow. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull that through and then you kind of flip it around. And then it actually, when you do it this way, you kind of have a good looking bow on either side. Okay, so this is the two loop method. This is the one loop method. Two loops, one loop. All right, isn't that fun? So let me show you that one once more. And you can play this over and over and over in slow motion. <laughs> All right, so I've made one loop. I've made a second loop. There's no twists and turns yet. Okay, then I'll fold this, you know, around, pull the loop through, just like you normally would make a bow. Pull that, it kind of got short on one end. Now, if you get, like what's happening here is things are kind of turning, just, just straighten them out and make your tails kind of go back and forth till you have the size bow you want. And then, ha-ha, beautiful. In this one, it looks pretty good on both sides. 
Okay, this is kind of my go-to method, but I just learned this one and I thought it was really easy. So you guys might like it. So that's how to tie bows. Now I of course have samples for you, obviously. Um, I made a cute little Easter card and just tied a bow with some of our shimmer ribbon. Isn't that cute? All these cards will be on my blog, so check out the link in the description of this video. Um, ooh, this card I really like. This uses the Lots of Lavender set, and I tied a bow and tied in with it some lace. Um, and this video will be on our VIP site for my VIPs. I'm going to make or I'm going to make this full card to show you how I made the whole thing. So make sure to check that out if you're not a VIP make sure you become one. All you have to do is place an order through the Creativity Cave. Here is another one, and this is kind of a fun card, and actually this is gonna be a video on our VIP site as well, so check that one out as also. This uses some printed paper, and then um, I have a different color scheme for the one on our um, VIP site. It's very similar, but a little bit different, and you'll have to tell me which one you like best. So anyway, you can check out all of these cards on my blog and see all the details, the supplies and everything are listed below here as well. Thank you so much for joining me for Friday Quickies. I hope this helps demystify the bow tying process. Make sure you give it a try. Practice always makes perfect. Thanks guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye.